Hey guys! In this video we will be talking about Ariella and Binia and Evelyn and Cory. We will take a look at Ariella's close relationship with her ex-husband and the timeline of their marriage, rumors about Ari's plastic surgeries and her response to online criticism. At the end of the video we will talk about Evelyn spilling information about her marriage to Cory on social media. New mom Ariella has been maintaining her grace through criticism as many Natty Fiancé fans have been angry about her relationship with her ex-husband Leandro. While fans have blasted Ariella as audacious, she had stated that her sense of humor does not translate well on TV and that she is partially just messing with her fiancé Binyam. I feel like you love him so much. I like... do love him, but not in the way that you think. What do you say? I love him. He's like my best friend. Ariella assured audiences that they are taking the plotline way too seriously. Though the recent arrival of Binyam's gorgeous ex-girlfriend Sion has left many viewers invested in the drama. Some Natty Day fiancé viewers assume that Ari's close relationship with Leandro points out to the fact that the two still have feelings for each other. While Ariella maintains Leandro is just her best friend, they are definitely closer to each other than most people who are divorced without kids. However, the fact that Ariella had even divorced Leandro was disputed by fans. Ari's timeline on how long she was married to Leandro is indeed quite confusing. According to Ari, she met her now presumably ex-husband Leandro when she traveled to Argentina. When I was 17, I went on vacation with my mother to Argentina. I fell in love with the country and I decided I wanted to live there and learn Spanish. And then I refused to come home. I was living in Argentina two years when I met Leandro. The two got married and lived together in Argentina before Ari sponsored his spousal visa to the United States. According to Leandro, his relationship with Ari was always like a roller coaster and they have broken up multiple times. However, Ariella's recount of how they broke up and why changed in between 90 Day Fiancé seasons. On season 2 of 90 Day Fiancé the other way, Ariella said she went to Ethiopia to process her divorce from Leandro young and immature and I definitely rushed into a responsibility that I wasn't ready for. I definitely was not looking for love after my divorce. I wanted to get to know myself and to see the world and spend my time traveling. That was in 2018 when Ariella was 27. During her stay, she and Binyam had a fling, which resulted in pregnancy, and Ariella decided to build a relationship with Bini. She had returned to the States but when she realized getting a visa for Binyam would be difficult, she decided to have the baby in Ethiopia. While in the US, she was living in New Jersey, where she was visited by her ex-husband, who was her guest for two weeks. Ariella kept the fact that she stayed one-on-one -on -one with her ex a secret from Binyam. On season 3 of Natty Day Fiancé the other way, Ariella recounted that in fact she never officially broke up with Leandro. Why you do, do, still not just together? Why we broke up? We never actually broke up. It was I like, just never came home. Yeah, it, it was like a decaying uh, experience. According to Ari, he needed to move to Indiana to pursue his PhD, and she told him she will move with him, but instead she went on to travel the world, and she met Bini in Ethiopia. But before she got pregnant, she did think she and Leandro would end up back together. In the back of my mind, I also thought we would eventually get back together again. That's why I didn't want to break up with them, because I was sure this was just like a hiatus. Moreover, on this season of The Other Way, Ari said she had been married to Leandro for 10 years. Interestingly, Leandro also stated he expected to get back together with Ari, until he found out that she was pregnant. I wasn't sure if this was just temporary, because we always came back together. But then she told me, okay, yes, I'm dating someone. And then she told me that she got pregnant. So obviously, that was the end of the story. Considering she married at 19 and turned 29 on the third season, and that was two years after meeting Biniam, the timeline points to the fact that Ariella had only recently officially divorced Leandro. And in fact, Ariella had finally confirmed she only officially divorced Leandro in August 2019, when she was extremely pregnant already. 
According to Ari, she had filed for a divorce a long time ago, but the process took a while. While a lot of fans call Aria Lan Leandro's friendship inappropriate, and some take their criticism even further, we may not know this time how much of what we saw on TV could be attributed to TLC's editing. Biniam had a similar situation in his private life when he had started a new relationship without definitively ending the previous one. Biniam's ex-girlfriend Sion alleged that he had moved on to dating the American woman, while she believed she and Biniam were still a couple. Because I hope I'm not going to get a run over and I'm not going to get a run over and I'm not going to get a run over and I'm not going to get a run over and I'm not going to get a run over. Who is this uh who is this girl? My ex-wife. Kaza de Modigami and in Nasumun Sarabat Vuta Jilita Jesus Matu Malat. You got her pregnant and then you had to marry her because of her religion. So that's why you, you ended up she ended up being more serious than what she was supposed to be. Anyone hoping Tion and Leandra would become a couple might be disappointed. Tion got engaged half a year ago, and Biniam had congratulated her with a joyous announcement. Leandro mentioned he has a girlfriend as well, however, he hasn't shared any photos with the new woman in his life to his social media. During the last episode, some Naughty Day Fiancé fans noted Ariella's altered appearance. Fans could see a noticeable difference between the confessionals with Ari. While Ariella was open about her altering her looks, Fans spend the production for trying to maintain continuity, while it's obvious the confessionals were filmed at different times. Although receiving plastic surgery or cosmetic enhancements isn't unusual for reality TV stars, some fans noted the reasons behind Ariella's transformation. Ariella is candid about having a painful condition known as TMJ that affects the temporomandibular joint in the jaw. In an attempt to reduce her painful jaw clenching, Ariella turned to facial injections and weight loss. Meanwhile, she received lip injections to try to mitigate the appearance of her jaw clenching. While some fans speculated on major procedures, others believe that Ariella has been fully transparent about her work. Some viewers speculated Ari had a nose job, while others say the changes in her face is the result of weight loss. Speaking of criticism, Ariella really doesn't catch a break this season. A lot of fans couldn't comprehend as to why Ariella needed a nanny for her single child if both the parents were unemployed. To this, Ariella simply answered, she could afford it in Ethiopia, so why not? Since Benny proposed, we moved into a three-bedroom house together, and Benny suggested hiring a live-in nanny. In Ethiopia, it's very common for people to have live-in help. Childcare in Ethiopia is much cheaper than it is in the States. It's only $200 a month. The nanny slash live-in maid was introduced to 90 Day Fiancé viewers as Mimi, but her full name is actually Tsion Mimi. Her Instagram feed is full of pictures of her and Avi, and some fans even hope that since Ariel and Biniam are now in the States, they could bring her to the United States as well. On the new season of Naughty Day Fiancé The Other Way, we will see Ariella and Biniam fighting about Ariella going to the States. According to the couple, their son needed a surgery, and they couldn't agree whether to have it in Ethiopia or in the US. It looks like Ariella managed to convince Biniam she is going to take the baby to the States for the surgery. For Biniam, it is a big concern, as not only his ex-wife went to the States with their baby, but she also has started a relationship with her best friend, ending their marriage. Evelyn is now considered one of the season's villains, along with Ariella. She is continuing to receive criticism for her Naughty Day fiancé the other way season 3 plotline, as viewers are now speculating that she is faking her drama with Cory. The Ecuadorian woman has been stressed out on the show over the major decision to marry her American partner because she isn't sure if she wants to spend the rest of her life with him. However, Evelyn's revelation to her sisters that she's been legally married to Cory for over a year has caused 90 Day Fiancé fans to question everything she has said. 
la verdad de las cosas es que hace un año, Cori y yo nos fuimos a Guayaquil y nos casamos. The rumors that Evelyn and Cory have tied the knot have been widely spread by their friend turned nemesis Laura from season 1 of 90 Day Fiancé the other way. According to Laura, Evelyn and Cory got married prior to even going on the show. However, Evelyn went live the other day to dismiss the rumors. According to Evelyn, season 3 of The Other Way was filmed a year ago in 2020, so she and Cory got married in 2019. She also mentioned that some segments were just filmed recently and they will provide an update about her and Cory's relationship. That, okay, someone is saying that I've been playing Cory for years. How can I be playing him for years? I literally have to tell the guys so many times, like, okay, let's just be over with, let's be friends, and nope, he doesn't accept it. So that's why we've been together all the time and you need to find out if we still are. <laughs> Yeah, that's a tea. Yes, we've been married um, for over a year. Uh, you need to keep in mind the show was filmed last year. Yeah, that is true. So all the bullshit people kept saying online, like, oh, you guys been married since 2016, since 2018. Bullshit. Uh, someone is like, free Corey. Please, come free him or go free him. <laughs> During her life, Evelyn called Cory stingy and said he only helped with her bar a little bit and her previous boyfriends had also been financially contributing to her business. Um. Evelyn is tired of criticism, saying Cory makes himself look like a victim. Some fans have re-evaluated their stance on Cory since his romance with Jenny from Peru wasn't just a fling during a break in a relationship, but technically it was an extramarital affair. Evelyn said she is hoping to come to the US on a tourist visa as soon as it would be possible to obtain it. Do you think that Ari and Evelyn are being villainized by the fan base, Or do you believe that some of the criticism towards them is valid? Please let me know your opinion down in the comments. As always, please consider liking this video if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.